Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a video where I show you five brands that excite me and five brands that don't. So, um, I'm not sure if anyone has been doing this on YouTube because I honestly haven't been seeing it, but um, I'm sure there has been. I saw Makeup with Raven do it on Instagram and that's what I was inspired by, so I'm going to be crediting her, not other people who have did it because I haven't watched any of them. So yeah, without further ado, if you want to see a five brands that excite me and five brands that don't, then keep on watching. Okay, first off, I want to say that if I say any brands that you like that I don't like or that don't excite me, please don't get offended. Um, that's just my opinion on what they've came out with right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So the first brand that excites me is Jerry Star Cosmetics. Y'all should know this by now because I literally love all of his products and I have a ton of his products. I have like probably 20 lips, 20 lipsticks from him and I have three palettes from him so far. I cannot wait to expand. But his brand is just, it excites me because like we're not getting a brown palette with the same gold shimmers every time. You know, like, and it's so colorful, and that's what I really like about it, and I think. Okay, so the second brand that excites me the most is Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, I'm sure you know Laura Lee here on YouTube. Um, she has a brand, Laura Lee Los Angeles, um, and I have a bunch of her products already. I have two eyeshadow palettes from her, and then two lipsticks and a highlighter. So, um, that's not really that much, but her brand does really excite me. The brand really excites me just because of the overall products. I've loved them. And all of her releases that she's had are, like, very, um, like, they're just out there, you know? Like, they're not boring, you know? Her colorful palettes is, like, one of my favorites. The, they just blend amazing. And how ironic that her and Jeffrey are beside each other on my list. Okay, so the third brand that excites me the most is e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, they're really cheap and affordable, and I really like that. But here recently, they've been killing the game. That concealer range, girl, it was amazing. Um, and I really liked the formula. Like, it wasn't, like, how their formulas used to be, where, like, you put it on and it was, like, nothing there. It just was, like, added color, not really coverage. Um, and their palettes that have been coming out. Like, they've really been looking good. I haven't tried any of them, but they excite me by that. Um, the skincare line that just came out, that would be cool to try out. I haven't tried anything like that. But overall, they excite me out of, like, my five. They're in there, you know? Okay, four is BH Cosmetics. Um, I've been really loving how they've, like, been making the brand more colorful. You know, like, their brand used to be, like, really, like, cool tone. And it was, like, not cute. Like, I hate to say that, but it, like, really wasn't. Go from, like, cool tone to, like, this, like... Yes. I think overall, I just really like the brand, and I like everything that I've played with that I've gotten from them, and the overall thing of their brand is just, like, really exciting. Like, when they come out with something, it excites me because of, like, the color and everything like that, you know? The fifth brand that excites me the most is ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, girl, they're coming out with something every week, so, you know, I'm just kind of like, um, you know, it's all right, but, like, if you're releasing something like every week, you know, you're gonna, stuff is start, gonna start getting repeat, repetitive, you know what I'm trying to say? Or just kind of boring. So, I do like some of their releases. Um, I wish they would collab with more people instead of like the same people over and over because like, <laughs> no, collab with somebody else, please. But yeah, they're exciting overall. The packaging is really cute and I always love the little cards that they send. Like one said, Un you're unbelievable and have like a B on it. I don't know, that just stood out. Okay, if you want to stop right here because it's about to get negative, um, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to say all the five brands that don't excite me, so if you get offended easy, please just click off the video. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, so now I'm going to start with my five brands that don't excite me. Editing Joshua here, I just want to say that the five brands that don't excite me are not in order. They're random, so An Associate Beverly Hills isn't actually like the top brand that doesn't excite me. Um, I forgot to say that, they're not in order. Continue. Okay, so my, the number one brand that does not excite me is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Girl, I heard of like the warm tones and everything, we need color, girl, we need color. Um, and we're not getting it, even though like everyone's asking, like, I literally saw on Twitter the other day, a person like made a palette of theirs, colorful, like, come on, why is this not happening? Like, I'm tired of seeing like gold shimmers in like every palette, like, nice. No, so they don't excite me um 
they really don't like they literally have almost every person on their PR list and it's just like I don't know like when you see everyone like hyping it up you're just like no so I don't know if anybody else feels like that but I do like, the second brand that doesn't excite me is CoverGirl um I feel like they're just stuck like back when they like first came out and like everyone's grandma was using it like not being rude honestly like I feel like they're just stuck back there and we need like color you know this is color <laughs> um one of their one of my favorite foundation is from them so like I'm not hating them they just don't excite me um I hope that they can do more in the future because they just got cruelty free which is really cool okay <laughs> my fourth brand that does not excite me is Morphe like they got so hyped up when James Charles released his palette and it like it's a good palette it's very colorful but like now they're just releasing like these palettes and I'm like not really into it like I don't know like I'm just not like the whole foundation thing it was just like uh like I didn't need a foundation when it came out so I was just like no I didn't need a concealer and like I've been seeing things where the um foundation like broke people out and like that's not cool and I'm not about that so I was like nah um, but their brushes are okay, but, like, they're just not exciting. Like, I just like the brushes in, like, one palette from them. So, that's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> the palette that does not excite me is Urban Decay. Like, these palettes that look the same, <laughs> I'm over it. Like, the, like, the little pans are, like, so tiny. And I just never see myself, like, getting a palette from them just because of that reason. I'm just like, nah. Mm -mm. Like, the palettes just bore me. Like, they look so dusty. Even though I've never played with them, they just look dusty. So, that's why they, like, never excite me, um, just for that reason. The fifth and final brand that doesn't excite me is Essence. Um, I got a bronzer from them, or it's, like, a contour bronzer, and it literally doesn't even show up on my skin. So, trying one product from them and not liking it, I was just like, what? Like, I don't see the point of it. Um, and especially because there's only two shades of bronzer and I got the darkest one. So if you're not going to if you're not going to cater to everyone, then why put a product out? Like, I'm just going to be real. Like, you know, like I literally got the darkest shade of bronzer and it literally wasn't even up. And I was like, where you at? <laughs> so that's why, like, I just really don't like the brand now. Um, they're super cheap, which I really like. Um, so I'm definitely going to try more of their stuff. But that just one, it just didn't excite me. And they're, I don't even see any of their releases online. So, I don't know. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wasn't trying to be negative. Um, I do love some of the brands that I said, like, don't excite me. I just, they're, they don't excite me. Like, you know? So, yeah. Um, if you like me and you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, like this video if you want more videos like this. Comment down below what five brands um, excite you and five brands that don't. Um, if you do a video like this, make sure that you comment down below so that I can go watch it. I'd love to see your thoughts. Um, and yeah, make sure that you go check out Makeup with Raven on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram down below. I'll leave a little link. So if you want to go see her, please go support her. And y'all have an amazing Monday. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace out. Bye.